Hi guys, it's been three months since I started posting to YouTube very regularly. So I'm checking in and doing this monthly thank you kind of a video. This is where I get to kind of relax. I don't really, I don't have a topic per se. I'm um, doing something with you though. I'm doing this. I'm going through this book. If that's um, backwards for you, it's called The Life Plan by Shanna, Shanna Kennedy. Shanna Kennedy, yes. So we do this once a month together um, just to do something different, something fresh, and to do something together. And just as a thank you for those of you who have subscribed, I'm really thankful for you guys to just be around. If you're not seeing my videos pop up, just do a little search if you want to and see what I've been up to if you're interested. And you're welcome to just comment, um, say hi. Um, if you've come across me um, a couple of times and you haven't subscribed yet, you're welcome to. I would love that. Um, love to see who's out there that I can share um, my tidbits with. Um, so yeah, in the future, with these videos, these thank you videos, I it will eventually become, because we're going through this book together, it will eventually become kind of like a like a course, a self-development course, right? Because we're going through this book together. Um, it's not my self-development course. It's, it's Shanna Kennedy's book that will, you know, by you and I doing it together, we will have these videos that anyone can work through um, at the time. And I'm, I'm really excited for that. Anything for self-improvement is my thing. So um, because there's always something to learn, right? There's always something to learn. There's always a breakthrough to be had. There's always, um, I don't know, I find it really exciting in life to just unclick, open the box um, with, with something new, anything that you can... Um, just be enlightened by. All right, so let's go through this, guys. So once again, thank you for those of you who have subscribed to my channel. Thank you for dropping by, um, if, if that's all you've done. Um, thank you for being here with me. All right, so at the moment, we're up to a section in this book that's called What's the Story of Your Life So Far? And it gets us to go through um, our life in a very kind of... Um, kind of quick and brief way it, it gives us ages every every five years of an age to think about so when we're born and then age 10 age 15 age 20 25 30 35 40 right up until age 70 so <laughs> that's what we're doing at the moment um, my previous two videos had me reflecting on the year that I was 10 and the other one was me reflecting on the year that I was 15. So today I'm going to reflect with you on the year that I was 20. But more than anything, I want you to do it for yourself. So have a think about the year that was when you were 20. So it says here, take a quick look at how you got to this point in your life without getting caught up in the emotion of past experiences. That's, that's key right now because I think we're just doing an, a brief overview of our lives. It says simply write down the experiences that have shaped you the most as a person from that age. So, okay, Whew. what shall I reflect on for age 20? What was the learning experiences that you had? Um, maybe you could think of really major experiences that you had the year that you were 20, um, things that helped turn your life around. And um, yeah, for me, the year that I was 20, I was in my third year of uni and um, I'd had a really tough age 19. Age 19 was a very strange year in which I was dealing with really... <laughs> Bad depression to be honest um, and um, the year of 19 was a big fog to me in the end um, it was very hard to remember quite quite what was happening and why it was happening and um, I'd had many a broken heart in that uh, the year that I was 19 um, trying to find um, in a way my fellow my fellow person, my person that would would see me for me and, and commit to me. So the year that I was 20, I actually had, I'd actually, to be honest, I'd just broken it off with a, a, um, a, a guy who'd 
um, actually committed to me for a change, committed quite solidly. Um, he was what I would say possibly my first official boyfriend at the age of 19 at turning 20. So he was there for my 20th birthday. Um, I'd had boyfriends before that because, you know, teenage years. But this guy, we'd, um, I guess the difference was that we were both happy and proud to kind of announce it to the world that we were um, boyfriend and girlfriend. And in fact, he went so far as to start talking about the possibility of um, of marriage in the future. Um, he was not serious, though. Honestly, he was not serious about that. He'd talked to all of his girlfriends about marriage. So <laughs> he was just... Yeah, I don't know what he was doing with his life, but he was a bit of a mess. Um, he had some court proceedings going on that I was trying to support him through and that sort of thing. He he didn't have a job or, and he was older than me. He was like 24 turning 25. Like he, he really should have been sorted by that age, but he wasn't. So that kicks off my year of 20. Um, so my year of 20, I just had decided that I really still wanted to find my person. Um, even though I was very young, um, I had always dreamed of finding my person at a young age. I'd never ever envisioned a life where I was going to be single for, for very long. I, I wanted from childhood, I had wanted to find my person and be married and have children and do all of that. I was at the same time going to somehow have a flying career and travel the world. Not sure how that was going to work. I was also going to become a singer and an author. So there you go. <laughs> Not quite sure how that was going to work. Um, so the year I was 20, I more than anything, I wanted to um, be in a like find my person but also um find me to be honest and i started making some strong decisions that were of support to me one of those decisions was letting go of a bunch of people in my life that just were not bringing any value um to me at all a lot of these were just acquaintances that i knew um they had been friends of friends um or just groups of people that I used to hang out with. There were various groups of people that I used to hang out with. I just, I just had a bunch, a bunch of people. Like I could walk through the uni campus and say hello to nearly everyone along my pathway because for starters, it was a small uni. We kind of all knew each other. But secondly, I'd met lots and lots of people at the ages of 18 and 19. And um, I don't know, um, we all just were kind of, you know how in school you have the popular kids who kind of just know everyone. I wouldn't say that I suddenly became popular when I was at uni. It was more like we were all just kind of popular kids. We were all just in it together. I was in a country town um, and um, that, that was just the, um, the culture of it. But I decided that a lot of these people um, just weren't weren't being genuine in their um, interactions with me. So I tested it and decided to just not say hello anymore. And lo and behold, when I stopped saying hello, people stopped saying hello to me. So <laughs> that was the first time in my life ever that I had decided to expressly um, have an elimination of people out of my life for the first time in my life you know and you've got to do that every now and then every now and then in life we just have to because if we had to um if we tried to hold space for every single person that comes across in our life and never let anyone go um it, it's it's like a tree, you know, the tree, if the tree has to hold on to every single leaf and every single branch that grows, it would eventually probably topple over. You just, you just can't. The tree has to be pruned away and we are the same. We need to um, prune away at the relationships and friendships that just don't bring um, value. And maybe they did once upon a time, but at some point they just didn't either, either 
life directions change or or life decisions get made by either party that then mean that the, the friendship can't be supported anymore and so on and so forth so that was yeah really the first big thing that happened in the early part of my age 20 um, I have to say that I was um, probably very much focused on um, just doing the things that I really enjoyed doing. Like I was a singer in a band when I was at uni, so um, I was doing a lot of that, just getting together with my band, practicing, and we were trying to perform at the local, um, the uni um the uni open mic nights and that was lots of fun it was many times i was like riding my bike home at like two in the morning after a night out just with with my band and and singing and performing and and hanging out afterwards it was so much fun um halfway through 20 i actually finally met my person so that is um my beautiful husband whom i have in my life to this day we have been together for well, here's me giving my life, my age away. Um, not that I've ever cared. Um, yeah, we've been together 23 years. So um, it's been a, a, a wonderful, wonderful journey. It has had its very big ups and its very low downs. Um, but we have um, ridden, ridden all the waves, um, both high and tall waves and waves that have crashed us down Um to the bottom of the sea and then we've swum back up and somehow found each other again um because that's what relationship is and that's what marriage is it's 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 um um when when we've made that commitment to somebody we just we gotta see it through <laughs> we gotta see it through mistakes and all and um flaws and all um, so that was my, the year of 20. Um, my life just seemed to really massively improve. Once I found my person, I no longer felt lost or lonely in my life. Um, I had someone to live life with. Um, my husband says that he, um, he, he had like a similar, um, kind of, ideal in his mind since he was really young like he'd always thought he would just also find his person and and just have someone to live with live life with so we um certainly had that in common and we found each other so so that's that's really awesome um by the end of my age 20 i um yeah uh finished the year out um with my my person um i had a fallout with my best friend at the time that year as well um she had every right to be upset at me though like i'd just done many a stupid thing um unfortunately um and um, took her for granted many many times I didn't realize what I was doing at the time but I look back now at like various of my actions and my heart breaks for my bestie who um, actually had a lot of patience for me um, and a lot of love to be honest um, thankfully we um, rekindled our friendship sort of the following year and um, and yeah so that was nice um I had a dog the year that I was 20. Um, my family dog had had puppies and I actually went home during a uni break and decided to keep one of the puppies. <laughs> Little thought went into that because the house that I was renting didn't exactly allow pets. So we had this puppy running around and I was also, I'd never had a puppy in my life so I didn't know what on earth I was supposed to be doing other than giving him some food um uh, so my flatmates were also very patient and maybe not patient with me and they were looking after my puppy um in terms of um like um toileting the puppy and things like that um my cousin was one of my flatmates at the time and he had no shortage of words for me one day um he he um he's older than me so he kind of had that kind of um big brother 
um, authority over over some decisions that I was making in my life and he said to me you can't just bring a puppy into your life and do nothing with him like we're the ones looking after him you gotta get your act together blah 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 soon after that big talk our real estate found out that we had a puppy in the house and they said that puppy's gotta go um <laughs> so I was like oh gosh I rang my mom and I'm like can I send the puppy back home down to hometown where you are and she was like nope not getting the puppy back you sort yourself out um per usual my parents have always made us face our own problems and problem solve on our own um so i was in a real yeah i didn't know what to do and um was sharing my story with friends and and my um my other friend slash flatmate at the time he said to me my parents are willing to adopt the puppy for a little while until we move into a house that does take pets and i'm like oh my goodness are you serious <gasps> so i had to give my puppy up on adoption and um did not see puppy for about four months um, until I got him back. And by then he was a full grown dog. I was like, who are you? I've never met you, big grown dog. Um, but yeah, um, his name was Rhythm and he was the most beautiful dog. Oh, I still um, have a very big soft place in my heart for him. So in terms of big lessons, because that's, that's what this book says, like what big lessons have you had? Probably, yeah, probably the, um, the, the act of choosing who was going to be in my life at the time and who wasn't. And then um, meeting my person, that was more than wonderful. Um, not only was I in love, but I was just just not not lonely anymore I, I'd found my person who my 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 beautiful husband who is um I, I couldn't have found a more perfect perfect fit for me um his gentleness his steadfastness his um his lovingness his um um his kindness his patience um he he he's um he kind of just is who he is and thereby also allows you to be who you are he just kind of just lets be um that's that's what i found in him and and still have in him um i know his flaws but i won't share them i won't share them with you today um so because you know <laughs> all right well i hope you enjoy your day and um i hope that in your reflection of age 20 you might have discovered something that you might not have thought about in a while and maybe um solidified something about yourself to carry you through today um to give you strength and confidence so hope you enjoy and i'll see you next time i hope bye